holds him up a bit, but flighted in. A nice easy one for Hogarth to take. Falkirk tried to go on the counter. Allegria plays in Morrison. Morrison with the shot. What a hit from Callum Morrison. Falkirk with the early lead. Allegria plays in Falkirk's number seven. And an absolute rocket puts Falkirk in the lead. His movement as a, a second striker has been very, very good. Something that Falkirk fans will be keen to see how he does over the coming months as Allegria gives chase. Juan Allegria clean through the shot. And Juan Allegria doubles the advantage. The Colombian is off the mark for the Bairns. Second time lucky. Denied offside by the offside flag earlier in the match. Well, no such problem this time. Falkirk 2, Queen of the South nil. I just wonder, are they going to come on? But we'll see as it falls kindly. And a penalty awarded. Well, out of nothing. Soft header down. Oh, and it's the leg from Sean Mackey. He puts his head in his hands. He can't believe it. Just frustrated, but... Steps up. Hogarth goes the wrong way. And suddenly, Queens have a lifeline. Good reverse from Nesbitt to Yates. And Peyton tightly on him, though. Nesbitt opts to go back wide. Good delivery. Lull! And what a finish from Lull! The diving header, absolutely clinical. His first goal for the Bairns. All the while with the diving header after 81 minutes. Falkirk 3, Queen of the South 1.
one from McNiff. He's just frustrated that there's nobody there. And it very much looked like the ball might have gone out of play, but here's Hester, he cuts inside. And the deflection takes it in. And there'll be an inquest now with the linesman. Hester gives Elgin City the lead. And you have to say, it might well have been coming. Corner kick on the far side. It's a decent one. Down goes Buchanan and it's a penalty kick. The challenge off the ball on Buchanan and it's a yellow card. And he does just that. Confidence spot kick past the outreached arm of Hoban. And Ali Love has his first Dumbarton goal. And what a timely goal it could be. The left boot in towards the six yard box. Up and away. And there's another penalty kick. An unbelievable start to this second half. The referee, Williams, just thought about it and thought about it long enough. His tally this afternoon and double his tally in a sun shirt. He does! Straight down the middle. Dumbarton back in front. Connolly picks up possession. Offloads it to wing back Scott Gray as Wilson goes for the long ball. Kevin Smith's up high. Ross Gray, it's a missed interception, that could be a penalty. That is a penalty to Bonnie Ridge Rose after 12 minutes. A howler from Jordan McGregor, the centre back, unable to clear his lines. A chance to put Rose ahead after 13 minutes. Looking for a second league goal off the campaign. Martin Yuk, great penalty. Blair Covery goes the right way, but he's underneath the ball, straight into the top corner from Neil Martin Yuk. A gifted opener, you have to say, after the mistake from McGregor. But the Rose take it with pleasure. Yeah. Maybe a little, little nudge on Dylan yeah. Forrest there, just as he was collecting Ant the ball. And Brady does well. And Brady does very well. There we go, Paul Woods is through. Now one and one with the keeper. Paul Woods, and he scores. 1-0 to the Blues. Through the first attack, and Paul Woods, a lovely through ball. And he scores, and he makes it. Stranraer one, he's 5 0. Come on. He's looking for and Baldy eventually comes and picks it up. But oh, he, don't, he actually gets a, ball there. a wee bit fluky eye and knows it's coming out to on the far side to East Fife. He does well, the boy. Tries to deliver here. Yeah, Kyle Gavin should hopefully stop it. He's, Half block. he's a goal for East Fife. And Sinrarov can see there again. Eight minutes between the goals. And Shiavon this time. Just a wee bit too far out for the for the shot, but uh, oh, Josh Walker going to go short, but uh, Anton Brady. That's a great ball. Mulkey! Yes, indeed. yes, and it's a goal. Luke Watt scores his second goal in two appearances. Scored on Wednesday night and he scores again. Against his former club, no less, as well. Yeah, that's absolutely right, Carmen. I'm, I'm glad you're there with the stats. <laughs> Played out wide. To the far side, he's five player there. Now, Stranard, he's got to defend his last seconds properly. Oh, goes unfortunate there. He's <sighs> don't, don't foul him. Oh, no. I, don't, I honestly no. don't believe this. I honestly don't believe this. Jimmy Hamill must be absolutely sick. Absolutely sick. Like we make it four minutes of injury time. Yep. 